morning guys uh, doing a little mowing today you just saw uh, me sharpening my blades and you may can see the mower on the trailer back there if i can see it in the mirror i'm on the zx3 the 61 inch and also i want to try out the gopro because there's so much hype about the smoothness of this gopro and a lot of times I would mount my GoPro on the mower and it would vibrate and shake so much I really couldn't use a lot of the footage. So we'll put it on there a little bit and we'll mow and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about kind of the way I mow and why I mow like I do. Just give you a few tidbits, try to make something different. This GoPro is mounted in the center of the console up on the mower. In the past, when I used the GoPro Hero 5 and the Hero 6, a lot of times I couldn't use this footage. It would shake so much. The 6 was better than the 5, but this 7, you can tell right here, because I was watching the camera and it was shaking some, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I'll be able to use that footage or not. And you can tell, I mean, it is just really, really smooth. When I'm mowing, I always make two rounds around my lawn, blowing the grass in. And I always do that so that I don't ever run the chance of blowing grass up on their house, their driveway, their sidewalk, out in the street or like mowing against somebody's property line. I don't want to mow the grass clippings and blow them over into their lawn. I just can't get over how smooth this GoPro 7 is. The stabilization in this GoPro 7, I mean, and GoPro said this, it's a game changer, and it truly is. It is a game changer, how smooth this camera is. Now here we are coming up to my truck parked out in the street. Now back when I commercial mowed, when I mowed for money, and as you've heard me say from many a times, I don't mow for money anymore, I just mow my rental property. I mowed out of an enclosed trailer. Of course, that's the enclosed trailer that I'll do my rental house work out of now that I do all my woodworking out of that enclosed trailer. But one of the things I did is I always kept my truck, my trailer, and my lawnmower very clean. I wanted a really good appearance with my equipment when I showed up at somebody's property or when I was out mowing and there's other people out mowing and their truck was dirty, their trailer was dirty, their lawnmower looked like it had never been washed. I used to wash mine a lot. Now you're going to notice right here when I turn I'm always turning with my chute away from the street and I'm always conscious about that because I don't want to turn my chute towards somebody's driveway, their sidewalk, if at all possible. Now there's instances where that it's impossible to do that, but I was always conscious of where I blew that grass. I didn't want to blow any out in the street for sure. And if I did blow some out there, I would either run the mower real quick down the street and blow it back into the lawn or when I blew everything off I would blow the street off but you'll notice right here each time that I turn I turn the chute into the lawn back up and then go and mow again and that is so that I do not blow any grass out in that street and I was really conscious of that because I used to mow up into uh, for my our small area we had a couple of nice subdivisions and so when I went up into that subdivision, there was other people that were just blowing grass out in the street, uh, just making all kinds of careless, uh, you know, with the way they blow their clippings. And I, I even ran up against guys that was blowing the clippings out in the street, and they drive off and just leave them. And, I mean, to me, that is just a no-no. And I think that was one of the things that really helped me build such a successful lawn business for the 10 years or so that I did that is for the cause of the way that I chose to present myself 
and to present my loans and to be very respectful with people's property and uh, you know not blow grass over on the neighbor not to blow grass out in the street just be very conscious of where I was blowing the grass I really really like this 60 volt DeWalt weed eater I very seldom run this weed eater wide open most time it's half throttle or less this weed eater has all kinds of power and I'm running the 60 volt 9 amp hour DeWalt battery and that battery will weed eat several lawns. I never hurt him for battery power, never hurt him for power. I love the weight of it, the easiness of it. I like the 60 volt DeWalt weed eater better than I like the Milwaukee weed eater. This weed eater is just very smooth, very easy to handle. I try not to run the bottom of the weed eater on the ground at any time because I don't want to wear the bottom of my weed eater out. Plus, I don't want to weed eat the grass that low. But you can see here, this is in just normal speed, how fast I can move along with this weed eater. And I just really, really like this weed eater. Now here, this is uh, where there was an old stump. It's, the stump is still there. A tree was cut down and it's just got ivy and stuff grows around it and it kind of looks better but i keep it weed eated you can see how this is just chewing this stuff up this vines uh this is little saplings this weed eater is not hurting for power and i am running it at half throttle because you're going to hear me open it up here in just a second and i don't baby this weed eater i mean i put it through it i treat it just like i would a gas weed eater and it takes it I, I'm really impressed with how stout this weed eater is. Now, I like the Milwaukee blower. This is the 18 volt blower. I like it better than I do either one of the DeWalt blowers, the 20 volt one I've used and the 60 volt blower that I've used. This blower just has a lot of power, a lot of strength, and it's very easy to handle. It is my favorite go-to blower. Now, as I blew the driveway off, some of that come out in the street. It's gone over into the other people's property, so I am just blowing, cleaning the street off, and then if I get it in their driveway, I am blowing their driveway off but I just want to leave everything neat and clean. Guys, uh, I've just had an awesome day hanging out with you, and I thank you all for hanging out with me. And I just really enjoy mowing, weed eating, blowing, just those type of things. I enjoy equipment, and I've enjoyed mowing as long as I can remember and I remember I started when I wasn't really old enough to get on a riding lawnmower and I started with a Comet Snapper probably nobody that's watching this will even know what a Comet Snapper was started out with a 26 inch I think, I think it had a 5 horsepower engine on it my dad had it overhauled and put a bigger uh, piston in it and I'm not sure what all he did to it, but it, it had a lot of power. My dad was like that. And then one day he bought me a, I think it was a 10 horsepower with a 32 inch cut. And then he did some work on that motor, had a bigger piston put in it. Uh, it yeah, I just, man, I thought I was on top of the world when he did that and bought that 32 inch, 10 horsepower. Man, I thought I have arrived. I thank y'all for watching guys and uh, just remember God loves you. Jesus died for you. I really, really, really enjoy hanging out with you. See y'all in the next video.